Hi guys, my name is Brandon and I'm the developer of Worship.net. Today I'll be giving you a quick, basic tutorial on how to use the program and the features that are within the program itself. To add a song, what you need to do is you need to just click on create new song and this window should pop up. Name your song, the song title, although it won't be displayed on the slide itself. So it doesn't matter what you call it, as long as it's something that you can organize your service by. Next, you want to get your lyrics, copy it and paste it inside this text box. As you can see, I've already added the spaces in between each verse, but you can also generate a verse every two lines. Because I wanted to generate in the spaces, I'm going to generate it from line breaks. And as you can see, it adds verses automatically by itself. Now you can click on save song and it will be added to your song list. To add a song to your schedule, all you need to do is drag the song from the song list to the schedule and drop it. And it is now in your schedule. You can add multiple songs into your schedule at any given time. To add an image, just press add image slide and add your desired image that you wish to display. Or if you wish to add a video, just press add video and click on your desired video. Now to add the songs to the output rack, all you want to do is either double click on it for the song to be displayed in here with its lyrics or you can press add to rack down below. To change lyrics, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to scroll through the lyrics inside the output rack. If you want to change the font or the font size or the font color, you can go to settings, presentation settings and a window should pop up. Click on change font and you can change the font size and the font itself. To add a background to your slides inside the presentation settings window, all you have to do is click on this button right here under image and choose your desired background. So I will choose this one. As you can see, it adds to the slide. So now your lyrics can change on top of a background. If you wish to hide the lyrics, you can come over to this presentation options window and either press black to turn the screen fully black, white to turn the screen fully white, or press hide text to hide just the lyrics itself. To get the lyrics back, all you have to do is press normal and the lyrics will come back up. To add a verse to your schedule, all you have to do is search up the verse here. Let's do John 3.16. And you can add multiple verses if you wish to. Let's do John 3 16 to 18. And you can press add to schedule and as you can see it will add to schedule. Double click on it to add it to the output rack and now you have your verses that you can display to your congregation. That's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you've learned something today and if you do have any more inquiries you can email me or message me my email will be on the screen right now and yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time with another update